Maximizers, today I want to talk to you about how I manage my money, my income as a business owner. I have been full-time in my business since August 19th, 2019. And over the years, I have come up with a lot of different frameworks and methods for managing my personal income. And then it wasn't until 2021 where I read the book Profit First that I really started to change the way that I manage my business income. So over, you know, mid-2021, all of 2022, and we're into 2023, I finally come up with a method that I feel like works for me when it comes to managing specifically my business income because my business income and my personal income are separate and I do manage them both a little bit differently. So let's dig right on in. First things first, I have a weekly money date with myself and I do personal stuff and I do business stuff. On the business side, when I have my money date, this is when I'm sitting down and I am paying myself, I'm paying my bills, I'm doing any transfers, I'm checking my bank accounts to make sure that everything is aligned. So my first tip when you have a business or a side hustle, you need to have weekly money dates with yourself to see how your money is doing. Now in the book, Profit First by Mike Michalowicz, he suggests that you do this twice a month. I'm more of a weekly girl. It needs to be more than once a month. Twice you can definitely get away with, but I found weekly checking in with my money works for me because I also like to pay myself weekly, which is number two. You should be paying yourself. I don't, okay, I'm gonna say this. For service-based businesses, if you're selling a service, even if you're selling a product, my clients in the Side Hustle Society, they know. First things first, you need to be paying yourself. You, at the very least, should be paying yourself. I don't care what you say. Putting all the money back into the business, yada, yada, yee. You should be paying yourself. If you are selling something, you should be paying yourself. So in the book, he suggests that you start with 50%. That's a great threshold. So if you make $1,000, $500 of that money goes to you. And then the other $500 can go to whatever else. I pay myself every week. I pay myself between 50 to 60% of what I earn. So if I make $1,000, five to $600, depending on the week, some weeks it's 50, some weeks it's 60. It's for me. People are like, are you paying yourself? If I didn't pay myself, I would be, <laughs> I'd be living in my car. Okay, I don't have another source of income. My business is my income. Even with my side hustlers and the side hustle society, I want them from day one to get used to paying themselves. So even if they don't do 50% pay, they need to be doing at least 30% bare minimum, you should be paying yourself. And me, I'm telling you 50%. So if you have a business, if you have a side hustle, if you have any way that you make money outside of a nine to five, you should be paying yourself at least 50%. So I pay myself every single week, okay? I pay myself every single week. Now, how do I do that? Number three is I have multiple bank accounts. I have four bank accounts for business. So I have my personal bank accounts and I have my business bank accounts. My first business bank account is my income account. So this is where all of my income comes and it sits. So as I get paid throughout the week or once a week, all my money sits in my income account. Once I have my money date, I sit down for my income account and I transfer my 50 to 60% to my personal account. So I take it to my personal account. And then what's ever left over, whatever portion goes towards my expenses for that week, I don't have like a set amount where it's like 30%, 40%. Depending on what my expenses are for that week, I will transfer that amount into my expense account. And that's where all of my business expenses come from, where I pay my team, where I pay for my systems, like my email service provider, that it's paid for my business expense account. I have SamCart, which is how I process my payments. I have Thinkific, which is my course platform. I have Zapier, which allows my systems to talk to each other. Any payments for my business goes out of my business expenses. And then I have my tax account. I try to put between 15 and 20% of whatever I earn, like what I earn into my tax account so that I always have money to pay my taxes throughout the year and also at tax time. And then I also have a savings fund slash reserves. So in my business, I'm specifically saving for the times when I don't make enough money to meet my minimum. So let's just say I need to pay myself uh, $1,500 a week. That's for me to survive. I need $250 a week for the business. So I need about mm, $8,000 a month just to round up. So let's just say there's a month where I only make $7,000. I will pull a thousand from my savings to make sure, all right, we have 8,000. 5,000 goes to Crystal, 3,000 runs the business, goes to um, taxes, runs the business, et cetera, et cetera. So I use my savings and reserves as a way to save. And also when I wanna invest in coaching, business travel, events, 
Most of that will come from the savings because I am future planning for that. So those are the four bank accounts I have. I have income, I have expenses, I have savings slash reserves, and I have a tax account. Four accounts in my main business account and it doesn't cost me any extra i think only one of those accounts has a fee and that's the account i use the most which is my expense account but because i use it and i have a certain amount of money coming into it every month it doesn't charge any fees fourth thing that i do is that i have quickbooks to help categorize all of my purchases so quickbooks is running in my main expense account and then i also have the option to add in transactions purchases and buckets as i see fit within quickbooks so that way when it's time for taxes everything is categorized appropriately and i don't really have to worry about it at all so this is how i manage my business money my business income i break it down and i do this on a weekly basis like i said you can do it twice a month but i suggest weekly so that you are really in tune with your money you're managing it and you're able to do more of what you want with the money that you have and you never really have to worry about anything falling through the cracks and you're always paying yourself so if you're ready to start your side hustle, you're ready to start your business, you're ready to make your money, I would love to help you. My Side Hustle Society group coaching program is open and ready for you. If you are interested, you want more details and you wanna chat with me about it, click the link in the description box, sign up for a free sales call so we can chat about what it would look like to work together to get you making consistent money with your side hustle. See you in the next video.